Okay, in the United States, there are at least a half million people currently suffering from Crohn's disease, and that number keeps going up and up and up, just like pretty much all autoimmune diseases, they go up and up and up, and as our diet quality continues to decline, we see an increased incidences of these diseases, and I think that is no uh, coincidence. One of those people suffering from that is uh, someone who calls himself Mr. Beast, who many of you guys may be familiar with. He's one of the most popular uh, accounts on YouTube. I think he has 100 million plus uh, subscribers and is widely regarded as one of the top YouTube personalities in the world. He has, uh, you know, constantly been uh, producing content where you know, millions of people engage in it. And so he has a very wide audience. And so unfortunately, Mr. Beast apparently has Crohn's disease. And so if I were to somehow uh, manage or have a chance to sit down with him, this is what I would tell him. First of all, let's talk about what is Crohn's disease. So Crohn's disease is a chronic inflammatory bowel disease that can infect any part of the digestive tract all the way from the mouth to the, you know, the exit part. And it is characterized by chronic inflammation of that digestive tract. Now it can produce a variety of symptoms such as abdominal pain, diarrhea, fatigue, and can often lead to significant weight loss. Uh, you can have bowel obstructions, you can have ulcers, fistulas, none of which are fun. And many patients with Crohn's disease, and some studies up to 40% of them, end up with some sort of surgery, often to remove uh, significant parts of their bowel. And what the cause of that, you know, some people seem to think it's unknown. Uh, some people will say genetics, environment, lifestyle choices. And, you know, clearly as it has been increasing, genetics have not changed. And so it seems more and more likely that there is an environmental cause. And I would posit a nutritional cause for many people with that. The treatment for these diseases often involve many medications, including non and inflammatory drugs. Uh, things like corticosteroids, also very expensive biological infusions, which are designed to modulate our immune system response, in many cases, tampering it down, which comes with the side effects of increased risk for infections, uh, increased risk for things like cancers, and they often tend to, to, to wear off over time with their efficacy. Fortunately, I've been in a position to see cases where the Crohn's disease has apparently been completely reversed, where they've been able to come off all medications uh, and no longer suffer from any of the symptoms of that, which I would hope Mr. Beast and others like him that have this disease could could benefit from. So, you know, one of the, th one of the things you could do, one, would, would be to weight train. You know, we know that uh, Crohn's disease is characterized by high levels of inflammatory cytokines and inflammation in the gut. And so resistance training has been shown in a number of studies to have a very potent anti-inflammatory inflammatory effect in people with Crohn's disease. So there are studies out there to show that the, the anti-inflammatory effect of resistance training is so strong that some people use that as an alternative to prescription drugs. And so here, if someone else is new to it, you can just progressively uh, add slightly more and more, uh, you know, resistance as you go. It doesn't have to be something crazy out the get-go, but just, you know, more than you're doing currently. And this will send signals to your body to, to not only lower inflammation, but also perhaps improve, uh, you know, certainly your strength capacity and then also your hormonal conditions. Uh, this is a big one. Avoid gut irritating foods. Now, uh, there are some foods that make Crohn's better and some foods that make it worse. Uh, I think for Mr. B, some of the most likely inflammatory foods are going to be things like high fiber foods, believe it or not. So things such as raw fruits, vegetables, whole grains, nuts, seeds can be often difficult to digest and may aggravate inflammation and have often been shown to worsen Crohn's disease. Spicy foods, again, spicy foods also can be quite irritating to the, to the gut. Alcohol, again, is another one, which can also not only damage other organs in our body, but also can have a significant uh, inflammatory effect on the gut. Now, fried foods, particularly those fried in these, uh, you know, awful oils are out there. These oxidized seed oils can cause spikes in inflammation and can make digestion difficult, particularly people suffering with Crohn's disease. And also caffeine. Caffeine also uh, tends to worsen uh, the digestive capacity and flare-up symptoms for many people with Crohn's disease. Hyper-processed foods and sugars, again, these are also uh, no-goes, uh, you know, uh, that is something that I think across the board, whether they have Crohn's or not, is something you should, you should avoid. Uh, I think certainly considering an all-meat diet, a carnivore diet for a period of time, maybe be it six months or a year, uh, has been what I've seen with people with Crohn's disease has been able to dramatically improve their condition, you know, and we see this sort of dramatic reduction in the inflammatory cytokines, we see dramatic reduction in symptoms, and we've also seen people with reversal of their disease, and so that is very encouraging. It's something that if an all-meat diet isn't isn't your thing right now, certainly including more of them can, can often be helpful, particularly as you eliminate those other foods uh, that we've talked about, you know. Uh, in fact, diets that are, that, are, that are low in red meats have actually been shown to not improve Crohn's disease flares. Uh, research shows that including more protein like fish, eggs, beef, lamb, and bison 
can drastically improve inflammatory bowel symptoms such as Crohn's disease. Again, you know, if Mr. Beast, if you happen to be listening to this, I'm very excited to uh, announce that we are opening Rivero to patients very soon. You know, if you want to be one of our first patients, we'd love to have you there. You know, we are going to be taking care of patients with all kinds of diseases, you know, eventually including things like Crohn's disease and also colitis. Uh, and we'll be using nutrition as well as other lifestyle interventions to, to help with that instead of the, the typical paradigm, which is mostly just pills and procedures and things like that. I don't think that is you know necessary in many cases. And if, if diet and lifestyle are implemented correctly with enough support, you can avoid all that stuff. So anyway, Mr. Beast, uh, good luck to you and uh, hope for the best for you, whatever you decide to do. And if we can help you in any way, let us know.